In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Zotero to Notion using Notero. So the first thing we want to do is download the Notero XPI file. So I'm going to leave this link in the description below, but you can click download right here and it will download the XPI file for you. Once you have that done, you can go into tools, plugins, and then you can see I already have Notero in here. I can always remove it by there. But if I come up here, I can say install plugin from file. And when I do that, I can just click on the file that I want and it will then install it in. And you'll likely have to restart your Zotero for it to show up. And then we can exit out of that. Now, once you have it installed in and you restart your Zotero, you can go into tools and you're gonna see this Notero preferences come up here. So now when you have this, you're gonna see Notion connection and you're gonna see connect to Notion. And that's how you're now going to connect your Notion and your Zotero. You don't have to go find the database ID or anything like that. You can just click the connect to Notion. This will open in your web browser. Make sure you're signed into the correct workspace that you want to work with. And then it's going to say Natero is requesting access to Elena's Notion. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then if you just want to use the template provided by the developer, you can click up here. If you're using like my literature organization and template, which I'll also leave the link to down below. If you're using that template, you actually want to select the pages to share with Notero. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click select pages. And then you can see I have my literature organization already selected. That's because I've already connected. If it's not popping up, you can always search literature organization. And you can see that I have multiple different databases with different versions of my template. So I would select the one that matches the one that I want to click. And you can click multiple as well. So I could like add another database as well if you want it to be able to connect to multiple different databases and feed in at the same time. And then I click allow access. And then it's going to say, when prompted, click open Zotero. Even if you have Zotero open, you need to click this open Zotero because it's going to send the data to Zotero. If you don't do this, you're going to have to restart the process. So I'm going to click open Zotero. And now it has my workspace connected and it has my database literature organization connected. I can choose how the item syncs into it. So right now I have the author date citation going, but you can have the full citation the title, the short title, whatever you want to be the identifier. And then the next important thing is right now you can see I have one collection checked. If I double click on this, it will uncheck it, which means right now, even when it's updated, it's not going to send anything to Notion because I haven't allowed the sync to be enabled. So what I would need to do is I can double click, even if you're wanting multiple, you can double click the multiple that you want. And then I can say sync when items are modified. That means that whenever I add a tag, I change something in the bibliographic information, anything like that, it'll automatically sync. And then sync notes. Sync notes means that within the Notion page, it will go ahead and sync. And I'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this and exit out. So this is the database that my Notero is connected with. I can check this by coming up to these three dots, scrolling down and clicking connections. And you can see this new Notero here. That is the one that I just connected. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the previous Notero so that I don't get duplicates coming in. So now I have this green Notero symbol, that is the new one. And so when I come into my Zotero and I go to any of those collections that I enabled sync for, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my tag steroid here, just so that it's updated. And then I'll like remove this tag, something to that effect. So now we can see with those changes, to these two came into the database. And so all of their demographic information, the title, the full citation, the item type, their tags, collections, all of that came in, including the abstract. So if under this one, I come down to the notes, I'm going to create a note. And then this should sync with Notion. And so if I go 
If I go back to my Notion and open the page, you can see Zotero Notes comes in here, and this is all of my notes within here. So sync this item with Notion is that note, and it just has the name and then the note within there. Annotations is a previous note that I did, and so you can see that information is in there. And then there's just a couple notes up there. So that's where your notes will go when you sync your notes with your Notion. They'll go inside the page and then you have all this information. So if I wanted to set the date to read to something like next week, and maybe I want to read this one this Thursday. So if I come back to the main dashboard of my literature organization template, I can see the read dates are here. My read today is empty, but my read this week is has the one that I set for Thursday. And then I can always come in and schedule the articles to be able to move these different articles around. Or I can move this one to today and go back to my journal article organization dashboard. And you can see now that that one is set to today and this week. So that gives you a little bit of information. You can also work with where you want to organize these within research or review papers as well. And so if you're interested in any of this, I will leave the link below to both the GitHub to be able to download the XPI file and to my organization template that works with Notero. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.